this is our little video, um, part of the series about the Alien films who have uh, finally got on to the probably the most contested film, Alien Resurrection. Um, so yeah, it's me and Jack, um, we've got the video of the film on in the background and we're just going to be discussing sort of points about it, you know, things that are, uh, you know, we like and dislike. <laughs> well, so yeah, I mean, yeah, let's let's go, let's go. Let's, well, we uh, said um, we said before we were recording this that we were going to try and try our best to say everything we liked about this movie and like kind of praise it because you know the film sticks out like a sore thumb, but it does have some really really awesome things going for it. Yeah, totally. I mean, um, it's not like it's not like a total waste. I mean, it has some cool cool stuff on there, you know, um, and it, it's good, you know, because. You know, if you hate something, it's good to understand why. You know, because I think it helps you appreciate perhaps what like that shot. To do or... We're watching a shot of the Betty rise up into the uh, Auroga at the moment, and that looks amazing. Like that, this just looks so cool. It looks very alien. Mm. Like they nailed that. That looks great. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, the lengths they they went to 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 make like the. I mean, the Betty. You know, you see it here as a physical, an actual physical prop here. You see like the docking clamps latching on. I mean, that was all actual, you know, actually made. The smoke annoys me. Yeah. <laughs> <Sorry. You> know, <laughs> instantly we're off. We're there's, off. There's, there's too much smoke, I don't know why that's there. But anyway, um, yeah, we want to say like things we like. I, I'll kick off with saying that I, um, I liked, I liked the idea uh, behind a human-alien hybrid. Hmm. I like that idea, like, and I'm talking about the newborn here. I like the idea behind it. The execution is another story, mm. but I like the idea behind it. Um, it's very hard to talk about things you like without comparing it to things you don't like. I don't like the fact that it's Ripley. Yeah, let's just. I'm gonna throw that out there. I don't like with this movie that they they cloned Ripley 200 years later, and that because Rip, Ripley's story is. Finished. It ended at Alien Three. The you had the chance to go off in this amazing universe full of, you know, prisons that are left. You know, you know, bases on Mars that we've only ever heard about. The the space jockey. Why didn't they go down that route uh, this time? Like, you know. I mean, yeah, you could have had. So, there's so much scope for expansion rather than they're just backtracking. They're going back to the safe zone of what they know. You know, the, whereas every film alien, before, people people are going to love. People, people are only going to watch it to see Ripley. Let's bring her back. She just had this amazing climax, an amazing. And they never like, explain how they got the blood. Yeah, I mean, they, like, they say that they, they say they got blood. Uh, I think it was blood samples or blood from uh, from Farina Farina One Six One, but. They never explain how, and there's no shot in Alien Free of that. Like, there's, mm. you know, she was burnt to a crisp. The uh, the DNA, uh, it's just full of holes instantly. Like, why, if you cloned Ripley, would you get the cloned Queen? Like, why? Yeah. I mean, I can happen? I can kind of see, like, you know, obviously because the alien um, absorbs the host DNA and kind of you know it doesn't fuse to you though it doesn't like yeah like that's the thing why would its dna be in your bloodstream that's yeah why would its like. dna be in your dna essentially if it. it's if it's just i mean the only way no not even then i was thinking you know if you got a bit of chunk of flesh with but like yeah like they're two separate organisms yeah you're still you can be attached to something but you're not a part of that it. is like saying right imagine um uh, uh that's like me doing this <laughs> well, no, so it, me it, doing like, this and someone cloning me, and then there's a Hugh, uh, there's a Ross Jack hybrid. Yeah, you know, it's like it doesn't really make much sense how they're they're linked together. Um, I mean, I think Alien Colony Marines touches on the subject of like the actual gestation kind of cycle of what happens. Which I did love, like the idea. Oh that yeah, it, yeah. Even, even if you blood take the, the even if you take the alien out, it, to the corruption grows and kills you anyway. Even if they remove the alien. Um, but Alien Resurrection is. It's really hard to talk about things you like. I like the cinematography. I like the colours. I like. It, it was. It's just bogged. Look at the smoke. It's just bogged down in, in that nineties era. And the aliens in this, because they're half got human blood in them, they made them more fleshy. They act. They have the double hinged yeah, legs. The, 
that comes from the Queen. I like that the aliens have an explanation as to why they have those hinged legs. It comes from the Queen. They're like the yeah, like DNA of human and Queen. Yeah, and, and but they're in a drone's body sort of thing. Like it, yeah, just it's like. like this scene's horrific with the guys yeah, yeah. all tied up with the eggs right in front of them, and they yeah. yeah. This I, I, the like, premise, the premise of it, the fact they have a secret research base where they're deliberately, like Area Fifty One flew yeah, through yeah. space, where they're deliberately infected people so they can study it even more. I think is this a really cool idea, you know? And it would make sense in the alien universe, you know. If, this is exactly this is the goal that Wayland Yutani wanted to get to, which is what pisses me off. Is that they could yeah, have made it, um, this Wayland Yutani, but it's it's like just what even is it? It's like the um, it's I can't. Do you know what? Because because I don't count this film as canon. I don't really look up the backstory of yeah, the actual like, the content of the film. I look up the making of it, but mm. I don't really look up the content in it because it frustrates me too much. But um, it, it's a, it's another company because at this point, uh, according to a deleted scene, mind you. So it's a deleted oh, scene, but God, it is yeah. in the uh, is in the. I think it's in the direct in the director's cut. The Walmart bought out Wayland Yutani. Oh, it's just it, that, Walmart. That, that just declaws a really villainous entity. You know, the faces, the corporation. You know, this this the, the evil force. I mean, the alien is completely neutral. It's this evil neutral, whereas the the um, Wayland Yutani Corporation are, are evil and bad. You know, like you know they they will try to harm people for their own gain, whereas the alien doesn't care who you are. It will just kill you anyway, sort of thing. So in a way, the real villains in the entire series is Wayland Yutani Corporation. To have them just like completely just to turn them into a joke, basically. That's what this film does. It's like oh you know. Walmart is like a Walmart is like a is, is a big company these days. Imagine if it got so big that it could even buy out this like. And we tried desperately to praise this movie, <laughs> and it's just constant like no, no. It's but like yeah, but that's the thing. They're they're like sacrificing the setting and the entire. Well, they, okay, it's for the, a cheap joke. This is like, something that I kind of like about this though. This is gonna be like kind of on the nose here. I like that it's. Each film, as I've said, I've got this weird like look at looking at the franchise. Like Alien is birth, Aliens is all about life, Alien Free is about death, and this is resurrection. If, you, if something's resurrected, it's never going to be the same. Yeah, yeah. So in like a style, a stylistic way, it's kind of interesting they went down a more action comedy route. Mm. Like, like if after Alien Free, someone like back then had asked me what do you think Alien Four is going to be like, this is totally not what I would have said. <laughs> Which is what would have happened at the end of Aliens, if you ask, oh, when do you see the uh, next Aliens film going? No one would have said Alien 3. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you I suppose I mean? it's, it's, again, it's just another curveball that they're throwing. And essentially, that's it's what like happened, a... what made Aliens so popular, is because no one expected it to be to, that. To go from um, just a full-on horror to an action But the play, problem but... is that each of those films that took it in a new direction kept the seriousness, kept the, kept the used sort of, you know, like, the, the history... The, the mechanics of the where you had the company like you don't not that you needed the company in this one but you know yeah they could have just not mentioned it but they didn't have to make it like a, they didn't have to just basically insult the rest of the series in a deleted scene just because they could they could have just left it out I mean like I think the setting of this film I mean the environment that they're in like you know the whole kind of uh, research spaceship it's fucking awesome like, it, looks it looks really looks cool good. but like, the problem the problem I have with the ship um, style wise if if I was to make this film right with the it, sort of with the same sort of premise and setting I would have had this ship look so clinical mm. I would have had it so bright and horribly white like very fluorescent not this dark moody Almost looks like Nostromo. Mm. Like it's meant to be a scientific research a state lab of the art. Two hundred like, years in the future. Yeah. Why the hell? And especially is it it's... so crap? Yeah. <laughs> well, that makes sense. I mean, like especially considering the medical areas. You know, you would have thought that for, even the medical you know, areas, research look, area. Yeah, the, the medical areas are pitch black. And they, they look cleaner and alien free. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like if, <laughs> if you look at the infirmariness, you know, that's what like a lot of this film just doesn't like like mesh with what it's supposed to be. Like, I don't know, I just, yeah. I, like, I would have made it so horribly clinical. Mm -hmm. Like, um, for example, uh, the scene in District 9 when they're about to do the autopsy on mm -hmm. him, like that really horrible, like they're, they're dragging him through that thing and they're playing with the skin of the dead alien. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's dirty, but my God, but you can see the intent horrible, behind it. It's like, horrible, like, like just mad doctors. Soulless kind of. You just yeah, don't yeah. care. They've all got these, like, 
breathing masks on and they're just gonna cut you open while you're alive. Like they, yeah, that's yeah. the sort of thing I wanted from this. Not, not. It's too much like they tried to capture the used future look of Alien In without some realizing that you can fit. do that without showing it. Essentially, yeah. Like Alien oh, yeah, Free, yeah, yeah. Alien Free is a yeah. used future, but it's completely different. Yeah, you know. And like, yeah, like I mean, for example, here we have the there's the aliens inside the Holden chamber. If you want to study something, you don't keep it in pitch black, you know. Yeah, you have the lights on it and yeah. you study it. It's just so weird. Or if you're going to have it in pitch black, have them testing different lightings on it to see how they react to yeah, like, yeah. the different strains of light. But they just missed a lot of cool designs in this, I think. I mean, like, I can really appreciate where they're going with a lot of it. But it's just, yeah, like you say, the execution of a lot of things that... It's too are funny. Yeah. It's I got guess. too many jokes in it. And, uh, and... I, I mean, the alien design, I like the idea of, like, the alien hybrid, like I said, but there's just something that's too, too animal I don't know, something about the alien design in this one that's just not right. Mm. I don't like the bottom jaw sticking out, I don't like the sort of aquatic looking tubes on the back that are all bent. I don't like the double hinged legs on these aliens even though I know why they're there. And like the fact that they are just completely all over covered in slime as well. Yeah and I don't like their alien hands. They just look rubbery. That and is I, the problem. Yeah, they look and I, rubbery. And I don't like, like the way they roar a lot in this film. Mm. Like they roar like dinosaurs. Now we've got to remember this came out in 1997 right? Yeah. The same year as The Lost World Jurassic Park and it was in this was this is so reeks of the nineties. Like mm. this this I put in the same exact category for people out there who want to know what I think about it. I put it in the same category as Godzilla nineteen ninety eight. Mm. I appreciate it for what it is. I enjoy the making of it. I enjoy some of the designs. I enjoy some of the action sequences are fantastic. Like some of the characters are okay. Like but, 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 but it's so reeks so much of Jurassic Park nineties that it <laughs> That it and the like the advent of CGI that it sort of it it's, it, it ruins an already established franchise. It loses what it's all about in yeah. the, in the in the hype of like fitting into all that kind of like nineties kind of jokey if, sort of seri semi serious like fantasy like kind of films that it just misses. It just like. It's too busy concentrating on other things that it misses what the whole series is really about. Yeah, and if. The aliens were designed to look completely different, and you didn't have the queen and all this sort of stuff. But you still had the alien hybrid, and you didn't have you changed the character of Ripley, and it wasn't Sigourney Weaver and all this sort of stuff. Yeah, this was a standalone film, not called Alien Resurrection. My God, would I have loved this? Yeah, a lot, I would have appreciated it a lot more. Definitely. Oh yeah, look, what is this all about? I mean, oh, the whole, uh, the, the whole the, breathing. The breath, on the... Like, why does she have a vial of this guy's saliva to spray on the door? And where I mean, did she get it? Yeah, where did it come from? It's just like. Just things like this, like they're like, hey, that could be really cool. Let's put it in the film. Like, no, like, where, where did it come? Maybe, out? maybe he, really cool maybe they it. were meant to have a shot of him spraying it in his mouth and uh, on his keys. Yeah. And then she saw that, and then she acted that she like snuck away with the keys, and that's like just the thing he sprays in his mouth. But again, that's just a massive assumption. Like, <laughs> yeah, to open did, the door. Yeah, why? Do you, why can't? Why can't she just like be able to? You know, they're pirates. Why doesn't she? She's just a have robot. Her? Yeah. She's a robot. I mean, of it, but, a... but they probably wouldn't want to reveal that she's, to be fair, that no, she's a robot. Yeah. But if she's a pirate on a pirate ship, surely they would have like some kind of little hack until they had them with aliens. You remember when, yeah, um, when they Hudson the like, the... hacks into the outer lock? Yeah. Why can't they just do something like this? Why do they have to have some quirky, cool new way of opening a door when something... A lot I think it's believable. meant to be also subtly on the nose funny. It's meant to be. Oh, but why? Meant to be. But yeah, but why, but why? why for it an alien It doesn't need film? it. It doesn't need... Why make opening a door funny? See... <laughs> <laughs> that is that's that is the that is the fucking that that sums up this film only. Why do you need to make opening a door funny? You know? Oh, God. Oh.